Okay, guys, I hope you're not tired of my videos. I hope that they're providing some value to you. We have this little five-wheel tow nutty three-point hay turner here in Montrose, Colorado. The little man that we're selling this for is also letting us sell his mower and his baler. He's got a 456 John Deere round baler net wrap, and he's also got a 920 John Deere 10-foot MoCo mower. He's gotten where he hires all of his custom hay and done. So he doesn't need this equipment anymore. And just wanted to give you a little walk through of this little mower. There's not a whole lot to it, but I did want to show you some pictures up close. You can see here on the three point, it's a category one, three point, no PTO required. This is ground driven. Three point is in good shape. I do not see any welds or breaks or cracks on the three point. You can see it's adjustable. So you can adjust the angle on this to whatever way you want to turn the hay. Got a spring load on the top so you can have a little flexibility when you're going through the field. Here is the only weak spot I see on this rate, guys, and you can see that they've reinforced the frame right here. You can see they've took a bead there and right down there, and then they've put that piece of box tubing across the top for reinforcement. Other than that, this rake is in good shape. I don't think that's going to impact the functionality of the rake, but we did want to point it out to you. Give you a walk around. All the wheels, I think, are complete. He thought there was one tine missing. I'll see if I can find that as we're walking around this. The wheels are not bent. As you can see, they're good and straight there, guys. Hopefully that shows you guys those wheels are straight. And like I said, I'll keep my eyes open and see if I can find where we might be missing some teeth on any of these wheels. I realize there's not a lot to show you guys on the video of this rake, but most of you are far enough away. You don't have a chance to come and look at it yourself. And I hope that we're doing a good job for you in, in showing. Looks like the bearings are good on all these wheels. I don't see any bearings that look like they have excessive wear on them. Looks like he's kept them greased. I didn't see any tines over this, and we're going to walk down the front here and walk over to the other side. There may not be, oh, there it is right there. I can see it right here. You can see right here, guys, we got a tine missing right there. But I think the wheels are complete other than that. You can see each, like these two on the end, have a pin you can pull if you want to drop those. You can pull the center pin and drop it. You can pull a pin out there on the end if you wanted to drop those. Set up any combination you want to do, guys, but pretty straight little rake. A little tunnity we'll put up on Tractor House. Let us know if you're interested, guys.